Um, yes, um, yeah. Magandang tanghali sa lahat. Uh, una, thank you for inviting me uh, to to speak here. Uh, I'm both humbled and honored to to be here kasama yung mga um, idols and professors ko when I was in when I was still in undergrad. Um, sina uh, um, Professor Lopez, sina Dr. Blanco, Dr. Sarmento, so si Dr. Principe were all my professors when I was an undergrad in UP and still uh, during my time sa, sa graduate studies. Um, maraming salamat din sa mga andito pa at nakikinig. Uh, I'd like to thank you in advance for for ano, for for staying until the end. So I'll be talking about um, medyo similar so what everyone else has talked about pero it's, it's about being unconventional. It's about uh, openness and it's about uh, building communities. Um, sino nga ba ako? Bakit ako uh, nandito? Um, I was introduced, so I'll just go over it real fast. My name is Ben. Um, I'm a G-Special Generalist, uh, an open stuff advocate, and uh, really a map activist, data activist. Uh, I'd like to thank na yung, yung training ko in terms of my education in UP, as well as the time I've spent in uh, working in different sectors has allowed me to have uh, a very holistic or pang, pang, pang malawakan or pang um, malakihang pananaw uh, pang pagdating sa mga bagay-bagay which allows me to work at you know, this intersection of openness data, geospatial and development. So mainly, I right now, I, I have three main roles. I'm the proprietor for BNHR, uh, my consultancy. I'm the training lead for the Open Knowledge Foundation, and I'm also the chief technology officer for for Smart City. Uh, previously, I've worked as a research and then uh, uh, SRS and uh, research science research specialist for uh, UP Diliman DOST projects. Naging um, program leader ko rin si Dr. Blanco under both Phil Lider too, and I am Blue Sikam. Uh, on the blue web maps. Uh, if you want to learn more about me, uh, the, the links are uh, social media links, website, lahat sila nandiyan sa baba. Um, quick ano lang, overview of what, what I'm doing in, in sa mga organizations na to and paano siya naging related sa, sa, ano, sa pagiging GE ko. Um, smart city, very similar dun sa approach na sinabi kanina ni Sir Jack. Uh, so excited din ako dun sa lungsod because uh, in Smart City we're the first tech non-profit in the Philippines focusing on smart city developments at yung gusto namin ay baguhin yung way uh, by which we look at you know smart city developments mula sa pagiging purely uh, you know technological applications based na pag may app ka smart ka na but more of pang uunahin natin yung tao uunahin natin yung pagiging bukas o yung openness yun yung ilalagay natin dun sa puso nung, nung development and um, we're multifaceted, multi-perspective, at dinadala ko dito rin yung experience ko as you now as a geodetic engineer in terms of spe- uh, the spatial knowledge uh, and my work on open data and open source. I also serve, as I've said, as the data training lead for the Open Knowledge Foundation. We're an international organization focused on um, creating a fair, free, and open future. Uh, we train people, we build tools, and we organize um, communities around open data, around open source. Um, open first yung approach namin. So dito naman, I provide uh, training. I design, I deliver, and I develop trainings uh, related to data literacy, open data, and sometimes pumapasok yung ano, experience with open geospatial applications like QGIS, uh, GRASS, uh, Geonode, things like that. Ang um, pinaka-related siguro sa pagiging GE ko is um, BNHR, which is um, ano, <laughs> uh, basically just a way to say my name. Uh, it's a consultancy I established in 2019. Lagi yung sinasabi, it's part enterprise kasi syempre gusto ko rip- kailangan natin kumita ng pera para mabuhay. But it's also part advocacy. And it's advocacy is promoting, uh, sustaining, and advocating for open data and open source not just in the geospatial field, pero uh, sana in general. So with that, I provide training support and consulting services uh, for for those things. Um, in terms of free open source software for geospatial, uh, usually pag 
um, nahawakan ko na or na-try ko at least yung yung basta nag i-exist sila I, I, as much as possible I try to you know test it out so QJS, Grass, Geonode, PostGIS, Leaflet, Mapbox you name it probably na-try ko na at least once so I've worked with a variety of uh, organizations from national government agencies to private corporations to international NGOs uh, providing support for you know, open data and open source in terms of geospatial specific um, I'm a QGIS certifying organization uh, my courses are vetted and reviewed by the QGIS Project Steering Committee. As such, pwede akong mag-provide ng um, what's known as uh, official QGIS certificates. So tulad ng nakita nyo sa, sa photo. I'm also a QGIS sustaining member. I financially support the QGIS project. Um, so yung mga nakukuha ko rin sa mga, sa mga job opportunities ko, sa mga mga kinikita ko, part of it goes to supporting really the 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 community. Yan. So yun ako, ano ba ano ba talaga yung ano ba talaga yung ginagawa ko, di ba? Um I do mapping and data stuff basically in if 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 I crunch it down to its most essential. Um this is what I do. I do maps, I do data. And um hindi ko na pala nasabi, I'm I'm from Bicol. Uh Albay specifically. So, you map things that are close to your heart, di ba? So, um, I think mayroong mga, meron akong mga ka, kapwa Bicolano dito. Probably even kapwa Albayano na nakikinig. Um, nung, nung time na nagka-GE sa BU, graduate na ata ako ng, ng undergrad nun. I think yung first batch uh, na pumasok ako ay around that time na pag-graduate na ako. So, yun. So, uh, other things close to my heart that I usually map out, syempre UP Diliman um, and Quezon City. QCS home, um, away from home, for almost half my life. Ito na yung, umaga, ito na yung naging, ano ko, naging uh, tahanan. Uh, especially UP. I've been studying in UP for for, for quite a while now. Um, sana makaalis na. Um, of course, mapping out uh, stuff in the Philippines is always fun. And nung, nung start ng pandemic, I was doing some um, volunteer mapping work. Uh, for for monitoring COVID uh, data sets. Although, uh, tinigil ko na siya kasi medyo um, may ibang responsibilities na dumating na kailangan unahin. So, kung mapapansin nyo, uh, I do a lot of maps and data stuff. But I do it, all of it, primarily using open source. Because, uh, yun nga, parte yun ng initiative ko. Parte yun ng um, gusto ko ipakita sa mga tao na viable option always ang open source and op- openness kung gusto mong gumawa ng mga ganitong bagay. Uh, with that, I also help others learn you know, how to do mapi and data stuff. Uh, sabi ko nga, it's, you know, it's, it's quite funny when I look at these pictures kasi pa, hindi, feeling ko ngayon parang ancient na sila pero in reality hindi naman. Like two years ago, yung isa nga dyan, a year ago lang. Pero yun, pwede ka pang dumikit sa mga tao, wala pang social distancing, pwede pa yung face-to-face lectures, face-to-face stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, back then I, I used to provide uh, uh, face-to-face trainings. It's been a while since I've, I've done one because of the pandemic. So mostly ngayon, puro na lang ano, Zoom and online uh, training trainings yung binibigay ko. Um, nung start din ng pandemic, I decided to develop uh, a new style or curriculum for giving a GIS train- QGIS trainings. I call it bite-sized QGIS. Um, you can just select kung anong, anong topics yung gusto mong i-train since hindi naman lahat usually kailangan ng, ng iba. Um, and at the same time, um, yung approach niya is uh, iba sa current tra- ibang tra- sa normal training approaches. Meron akong live sessions where we, we do the training, we go over materials, but I also have mentoring sessions afterwards. Uh, kasi what I've noticed was uh, even sa, sa training na physical or face-to-face, especially sa, sa online, mas madali natin makalimutan yung natututunan natin. So apart from, the, say for example, two-day training, I give like four weeks of mentoring sessions. Na every week mag-meet pa rin tayo if there's still things you want to clarify there's still things you want to um, to to work on. And most of the time, yung requirement ko sa training ay 
um, gumawa ng isang simple mapping project para nakikita kung ginagamit talaga nila yung mga natututunan nila. Um, I've been asked pala kung, kung kailan kung kailan next run. I, unfortunately, baka later this year. Kailangan ko munang tapusin yung thesis ko. Uh, unahin ko muna yun. Uh, but if you want to, ano, if you want to be updated, again, uh, the social media links, my website is, uh, andyan lang, andyan lang sa baba. Uh, at bnhr.xyz on Facebook, at bnhr.xyz on Twitter, bnhr.xyz uh, website. Uh, so if you visit now, actually, pwede rin, you can go to the blog, I share their tutorials, uh, posts, um, how-tos, mostly about, again, open data, open source, uh, QGIS, Phosphor G applications. So, kung if you need some learnings, or baka may, may mga bagay na curious kayo na nasagot na pala before, um, baka andun. I, I started doing that kasi ang dami kong questions na ulit-ulit ko lang sinasagot every time. Paano, paano nga uli gawin to? Paano nga uli gawin yan? Then I realized, best way is just write it down, put it somewhere, para next time mangyari uli yung issue na yun, alam ko na kung paano siya gagawin. So, hindi ko na kailangan ulitin. So, Um, try to check it out baka may mahanap kayo ng solution sa mga, sa mga problems nyo uh, siguro mapapansin nyo rin another thing I do is I, I really advocate for openness when doing a uh, mapping data stuff again most of the work I do it, it revolves around open source revolve, revolves around open data uh, and I'd like to promote it and I'd like people to see more value in it um, uh, as a person in professionally and uh, siguro academically uh, mas leaning towards talaga ako sa open approaches um, when I say open I mean anyone can freely use access modify and share for any purpose um, minsan kasi me- kon- medyo bastardized ng konti yung open sa atin hindi siya nagsusubscribe sa open definition uh, and you can ask siguro Ben does open mean free? ibig sabihin ba nun libre? yes uh, free pero As, as as I always say, it's free as in freedom. Yung free sa free and open source or sa free software ay kalayaan. Uh, it's not just free food. Uh, so, malaya kang gamitin yung software. May mga kalayaang binibigay sa'yo. At yung mga kalayaan na yun, ang examples nila, yung four essential freedoms, ay freedom to run, uh, the application, freedom to study and change it. So, to do that, kailangan may access ka sa source code, for example. Freedom to share the program. Sabi ko nga, mahirap i-pirate yung open source and free and open source software. Right now, you can go to libreoffice.org, qjs.org, i-download nyo yung software, install it, i-share nyo yung installer. That's not piracy. You're not you're not doing anything wrong uh, compared sa ibang proprietary stuff na alam natin bawal gawin. Bawal gawin yun. Although we have to sometimes. Uh, and of course, freedom to share your modified versions of the program. Uh, ang analogy ko lagi uh, and has has been that analogy for quite some time is the free and open adobo. So, uh, apologies. Alam ko lunchtime na mas lalong nakakagutom. Laging sumasakto. Yung slide na to, laging sumasakto to pag lunch. Uh, I don't know why. Pero the free and open adobo basically tells you na pag meron ka adobo and it's free and open, pag binigyan ka nun, you are free to timplahin. And you are also, may kalayaan ka rin i-share ito sa iba. And of course, noon sa taong pinagbahagian mo ng adobo, meron din siyang kalayaan na palitan yung lasa, timplahin sa gusto niya, at i-share yung timpla na yun sa ibang tao. Now imagine, imagine kung, kung bawal gawin yun. Kung hindi free and open yung adobo mo. Eh medyo, medyo boring. Medyo boring yung buhay. Kahit masarap yung adobo, magsasawa ka rin kung hindi mo pwedeng, di ba? Variety. Variety is the spice of life. Uh, lastly, I, uh, I share memes about openness, maps, and data um, yeah, for, for fun. It's all in good fun naman, although it, it reflects a lot of my experiences uh, in work, in life, uh, pati na rin yung mga thoughts natin sa buhay. So, I am pretty sure if for those of you na medyo matagal na sa, sa field ng geospatial, imposibleng never nangyari yung... Um, humingi ka ng shapefile tapos binagay sa yung .shp lang. Uh, yeah, that's happened to me quite a number of times already. Uh, may mga may mga hingi ng tulong tapos I ask pahiram ng layers and then they just send me the .shp. 
or sometimes yung matinda yung hihingi ko yung QGIS project, binigay sa akin yung project lang mismo. Wala yung layers. So, uh, all in good fun naman. And um, uh, another experience that we have is probably yung difficulty of getting data sa Pilipinas. Diba? It, it's something na uh, we all have to work towards improving. Uh, yung sharing natin, tsaka yung um, pag-release natin ng open machine readable uh, data. Not just open nga, there's, there's a new principle called FAIR. Diba? Um, madali siyang mahanap, madaling i-access, interoperable, tsaka replicable. Um, so yun yung, yun yung mga bagay na uh, na I, I have thoughts about and I, I advocate for um, together with, again, yung openness in research na pinakita rin kanina or nakita natin yung value sa mga naunang discussion si na Dr. Blanco oh, and yung mga tools na ginamit sa mga researches when when they're open source when they're you know uh, open science mas 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 valuable for us there's there's ano there's a lot of things uh, na positive when you use an open approach and uh, siguro you're wondering how how I got here di ba um medyo varied yung ginagawa ko not just not just GE related stuff and uh, I think that that goes hand in hand with yung sinabi ng mga naunang unang mga presenter sa akin na iba na talaga yung yung ano ngayon marami maraming ginagawa ang mga GE hindi na hindi na lang iisang bagay we're not boxed into 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 something or or ito lang yung pwede nating gawin um, paano ako napunta dito uh, maraming salamat kung sino man yung admin na nagpost nito dun sa GME page. This actually perfectly summarizes my stay nung undergrad. At totoo, totoo tong lahat sa akin. Um, which is why I'm very, I'm, I'm very thankful for, for my professors, uh, especially sa mga uh, department chair nung time nung undergrad ako. Uh, I had the honor to naabutan ko si Dr. Paringit at si Dr. Blanco na naniwala sa at nagtiwala sa mga appeal letters ko at that time uh, nung undergrad um, I'm pretty sure kung kung wala sila or hindi sila nagtiwala wala ako dito ngayon and um, siguro what, what I'd like to say there is it's okay to take your time diba? um, I'm not saying na magpa-delay kayo uh, but you know it's okay to it's okay to you know pace yourself and alamin nyo kung ano talaga yung alamin nyo kung ano talaga yung gusto nyo because it took me some time to to, to actually um, realize that and although yun nga kung yung originally if from a different background ako at napunta ako sa GE I never regretted that decision and I'm very thankful na punta ako sa GE um, again hindi ko sinasabing magpa-delay kayo uh, baka mapagalitan ako ng mga magulang nyo ang um, importante lang is for me self awareness be self aware ano yung gusto mo ano yung kakayahan mo what do you want to do you know 5 10 years from now um, and related to that it's okay to be unconventional especially now sobrang unconventional ng field natin hindi na tulad noon dati diba? um, back then when you think of GE siguro until now when you think of GE you think of um, uh, surveying geomatics diba um you also think of remote sensing and then you also think of GIS. So, yung mga bagay na yan. And nung, when I was in undergrad, inisip ako, nag-iisip ako ng topic for, for my, for my um, undergrad research. Uh, dapat obvious na for me, di ba? Okay, you have surveying, you have remote sensing, you have GIS. And then, sabi ko, oo nga, tama, I'm, I'm coming to use yung knowledge that I got from my professors and from, from my courses to apply geospatial knowledge to basketball. Yes. Ang daming kong pwedeng pagtuunan, <laughs> paglaanan nung mga natutunan ko at naisip ko talaga yung basketball. Uh, why, why not? Uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan of basketball ever since I was a kid, although I'm not go- really great at playing. I've always been a stat head. And I've always loved uh, no, analyzing basketball. And at that time, nagsisimula pa lang, burgeoning pa lang yung ano, yung yung spatial analytics field sa basketball, even abroad. So, sabi ko, why not try to apply it in the Philippines? And, um, again, maraming salamat sa support ng aking uh, TIS coordinator back then, 
Dr. Blanco and thesis advisor uh, uh, Professor uh, Maria Concepcion Ang uh, na ano, hindi nila sinote down yung idea and they supported it. Uh, my undergrad research together with my research partner, thesis partner Nico, gumawa kami ng way para mag-extract ng special data sa broadcast basketball videos kasi walang basketball special data at that time. Nobody nobody does that. No? Walang guma- walang nagaganyan. Um, uh, so gumawa kami ng system para to do that. And ano naman, uh, pinayaga naman, sabi ko nga, uh, marami salamat sa mga professors. Pinayaga naman nila, nakalusot naman sa defense, uh, graduate ako. So nung nag-masters ako, kumbaga na mihasa, um, pinush ko pa, pa, pinush ko further. So every time meron akong, um, meron, meron akong course or topic na pwede kong ipasok yung basketball, I do that. So I updated um how how the system works. I created more visualizations. So um na kumbaga hangga't kaya kong ipilit or na, na I focus yung special studies ko in basketball. I will try to do that. Which leads me to where I am right now. Mas uh, I've honed the skills. Feeling ko mas okay na mga visualizations and maps on basketball na ginagawa ko ngayon. And I'm also doing my um graduate research under the care of my thesis advisor Dr. Blanco on mapping the geography of of UAAP so using spatial anal- analytics to to actually spatially characterize yung um isang season ng UAAP so yun um applying stuff na in unconventional manners okay yun you don't 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 let people ano discourage you um ang tagal ko nang naghahanap ng kasunod Actually, kung may gusto sa inyong mag-study ng sports using spatial analytics, please do. Uh, soc- f- football, soccer, ang laking field na rin niya ngayon. Uh, basket, hindi lang basketball. Ang daming, ang daming magagandang topics na pwedeng tingnan. And um, one of the last things that siguro I want I want to impart kung pa- pa- ba't ako napunta dito, you know, it pays to invest in freedom and openness. Um, sabi ko nga, I, I do most of my work with free and open source software. I actually earn a living, earn my keep uh, with uh, with my knowledge of free and open source software. Ang laking bagay na nag-focus ako sa ganun. Uh, kumbaga, it's, it's a differentiator din kasi. Uh, what I've noticed was when you, when when some international NGOs are looking for, ano, looking for support, they're usually looking for um, open source stuff kasi may, may set budget sila for things. And the, the mere fact na minimal to zero cost yung open source, it's always an advantage for you. And don't let people tell you na hindi powerful or hindi walang support sa open source. It's ang daming applications built on an op- open source principles. Kaya mong gumawa ng sarili mong special data infrastructure, an entire stack built purely out of open source. So um, you have QGIS for your desktop, Grass, Saga. May data, uh, field data collection application na rin for QGIS. There's QField. Uh, there's also input. Pwede kang, pwede kang mag-field data mo, uh, collection directly sa app mo. And then it will sync directly din sa queue. So, ang daming, ang daming applications and there's support for it from OSGO. Uh, mga mature uh, projects na sinusuportahan nila na uh, for geospatial. Um, and quick background sa, sa picture na to. In 2014, Sumali kami ng hackathon. Uh, two of my college friends, si Cham tsaka si Ian, they're now uh, both with a, a big energy startup. Um, nung time na yun, hindi kami nanalo, pero nabigyan kami ng special award kasi kami lang yung gumawa ng, ng web map. Hindi pa uso nun yung mga web maps, web maps. Parang bago pa lang siya. Um, and yung gamit namin dyan was uh, an open source stack, Flask plus Leaflet. Um, gumawa kami ng web map where you can just click on the map see kung kumusta yung procurement dun sa area na yun, mga procurement projects. And nabigyan kami ng award for that kasi wala pa, wala pa daw masyadong gumagawa. And now, looking back, ang dami na, sobrang gagaling na ng mga, ng mga sumunod sa amin. And it, it's, ano, it's nakakataba ng puso na um, mas nagiging widespread na siya. And at the same time, the same stack that we used before Andyan pa rin. You can still use Flask plus Leaflet to create your web map. So, ganun. 
ka-powerful yung open source. It's transcended how many years? Almost seven years na. Um, um, pwede mo pa rin siyang gamitin, pwede mo pa rin siyang gawin. So, what else have I learned so far? Um, siguro, things that I can impart sa mga uh, ba- mga kabataan, sa mga malapit sa edad ko. Um, it's not enough that you win. Uh, medyo, medyo weird. Uh, it's not enough that I should succeed, either I should fail. No, no. Uh, it's it's not enough that you that I should succeed. Eh, Other should succeed from my success too. Um, sabi ko nga, uh, your wins should always help others win as well. Yung mga, uh, which is why I like the concept of openness, uh, open science, um, sharing data, sharing sharing applications, sharing uh, yung mga knowledge natin. Kasi it's like standing on the shoulders of giants. Eh. Hindi pa, yun yung sabi. Uh, ako, I'm only here now because of what I've learned from my professors. And hopefully, yung generation ko naman would help next generations of GEs and geospatial scientists you know, build their careers and then find their ni- mga niche nila. So, yung win mo, isipin mo lagi, hindi lang yan para sa'yo. Uh, there's, there's someone else next in line na tinitingnan kung ano yung mga nagawa na before, ano yung mga ginagawa nyo ngayon. And they're Oh no, they're 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 looking at that, seeing kung paano sila magbe-build on that. Uh, especially sa open source community, sobrang ano nito, sobrang sobrang powerful ng ano na to. When when you build in an open environment, yung success ng isa, for example, you you're able to patch a bug sa QGIS, sa Grass. Everyone who uses that application, you know, also succeeds from your success. Na hindi na lang kailangan problemahin yung bug na yun. So, um, your our wins should also help others win. And to do that, ang laking bagay yung building communities. Uh, narinig natin kanina, di ba? Sabi ni Sir Ariel, Dr. Blanco, you know, research is a community. Uh, and ang ganda nung analogy niya with, with a community pantry. And ganun din, I, I believe in building communities um, na hindi lang dapat ikaw, pero you share your, you share your blessings with others. Um, for example, I... I created yung QGS User Group Philippines way back in 2017. I still I still admin it uh, now, feeling ko. Um, you can look for it on Facebook, QGS.ph. Back then, parang mat- matumal. Pero four years later, 3,000 plus members there are. Uh, hindi na lang ako yung nagpo-post. Uh, medyo, meron ng mga ano, nag-interact and that's that's very nice. And I, back then, gusto ko lang is I, I wanted a safe space for for users, enthusiasts, and developers sa Pilipinas to interact and share. Kasi parang wala pa nung time na yun. Um, there was one for uh, GIS uh, per se, uh, but not one that focus on on Q. And a lot of OpenStreetMap and Phosphor-G communities that you can join actually and you can volunteer for. Um, one of one of our um, partners ng activity na to and uh, they were also share tomorrow ang alam ko mapbex uh, they map for safe spaces uh, and you know lgbtqi um, uh, spaces and open street street maps there's uh, mental health awareness mapping um, mapping for uh, you know mental health uh, facilities and mental health stuff uh, with OSM there's the ministry of mapping a collective of you know open mapping and open data people map time diliman Map Amore, Youth Mappers, Map Atanda. These are all built on open principles, on open source technologies. And these are all communities na pwede nating salihan. Ang um, maganda nga dun is, um, maganda with with these communities are, uh, you can join them openly, freely. And if you have, you know, new initiatives na gustong gawin, the, the platform, the framework is always there. I think a week ago, nag-share ako about mapping basketball courts in the Philippines. And that's something that anyone can just you know, take over, can do, actually. And yun, sobrang vibrant ng, ng open, open mapping and open street map community sa atin sa Pilipinas. And I'd, I'd like to encourage everyone to reach out uh, to these organizations, to these, to these people. Uh, nung time na pwede pa nga yung mag, mag-face-to-face, magsama-sama, Uh, we usually have map time diliman meetups every month. Um, and then meron kaming Phosphor G, mini Phosphor G conference na 
sinasabay namin uh, back then sa Philgeos para um, para din sa mga mag, makapag-share ng knowledge namin on open source and to encourage more people to, to, to join. Umaga. Ang pinaka-ano namin, I think, pinaka-success was Pista ng Mapa. It was the first of its kind. Um, PNM 2019 was held in Dumaguete. Ito yung first ever large-scale open source, open data, open mapping conference sa Pilipinas na by Filipinos, for Filipinos, outside Metro Manila. Dapat sana last year sa Cebu kami. Um, kaso pandemic happened, pero we still pushed through. November last year, Pista ng Mapa 2020, it was purely online. Um, sana meron uli this year. Um, please, ano, find look look for the page follow nyo um, gusto namin mas palawakin yung 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 network and if you notice uh, i also fi- support or sponsor yung pista ng mapa as part of yun nga uh, supporting yung community sa Pilipinas last uh, but not the least siguro um, before i i leave you guys makalimutan niyo man lahat ng sinabi ko before uh, basta ito ma ma Ma-keep nyo. I'm okay na ako yun. Masaya na ako. Do good. Always use your you know, knowledge, geospatial knowledge and geospatial powers to do good. So, you know, to serve to serve the community. Um, if you're, you know, if you're successful, if you're privileged, if you're powerful, make sure that you use that privilege, that power to, you know, to help others. To especially the less privileged and those marginalized na sa communities. Uh, Importante yun. Um, kasi your, your, actually your knowledge of geospatial is, is a very powerful thing. So, sobrang, sobrang laking bagay ng marunong ka magmapa, marunong ka mag, magkumuha ng measurements. Because uh, it, ano, it, it can influence people. So you must use that power wisely. Diba? You temper that power with wisdom to make sure na you're doing it for, for good. You're doing it for 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 the benefit of people at hindi lang hindi lang para sa iyo as with most power you know yung geospatial powers man yan it can corrupt you yan. so just some examples of of doing good um related to so sa community pantry um the the OSM community in the Philippines led by um sina Andy um the the Mapbex then and the Ministry of Mapping gumawa sila ng uh, saan may community pantry na map. So we can actually find uh, kung nasaan meron mga community pantries. Uh, I do some stuff related to plugins sa uh, QGIS, Open Hazards PH. And something that I also curate is Awesome Data Philippines. So kung napansin ko kasi before, a lot of, a lot of people were actually asking me saan po may ganitong data, saan po pwede makahanap nito. And then I decided, uh, since lagi naman siya natatanong, lagi na sasagot, why not curate it? So Awesome Data Philippines, it's an open ano, it's an open list of sources of data, mostly geospatial, open source, open data, related sa Pilipinas. Yung mga nahanap ko online or mga nagamit ko na before. Uh, you can look for it, awesome, awesome Data Philippines, find it on my site as well. Kung nagaanap kayo ng data, baka andun, um, baka andun yung link sa data na yun. Uh, I have data there related to hazards, soils, mga nahanap ko before na, alam mo yun, nakita mo lang once, pero feeling mo magagamit mo in the future. So, might as well, ilagay ko na dyan. Baka kasi may ibang taong nangangailangan. So, just some examples of, you know, doing good, using your your geospatial powers for good. Yan, and, yeah, that's it. Um, maraming salamat. Um, thank, thank you very much. And maraming salamat sa pakikinig.